like I said, I want to kind of take a step back here and take a little bit uh, of a broader view of what goes on in a real estate transaction when you take a complete stranger and you turn them into a happy and satisfied customer. So the first thing that you have to do in business is you have to attract traffic. You have to make it known what problem it is that you solve. There's many, many ways to do this. You can pick up the phones and cold prospect. You can pay a celebrity to endorse you on television. You could buy billboards, radio ads. You could send out videos, create a video blog. There's many different ways that you can make it known what problem it is that you solve. But the next step in the transaction, or the customer life cycle, I'm sorry, is to capture those leads, right? To actually gather their information. Once you've gathered their information, you can stay in touch with them. And now you have to actually nurture that prospect. You have to get them to know, like, and trust who you are, who you represent and what services you're going to provide for them. And at that point, you finally are ready for the conversion of the sale. And like Spring said earlier, the biggest myth in real estate is that you guys sell homes. You guys don't sell homes. You sell professional services. So you're selling yourself. So the conversion of the sale in real estate is actually made when you get someone to sign on the line which is dotted, right? The buyer rep agreement, the seller agreement. That's actually when they become a customer of yours. At that point, You've got them to sign on the line, which is dotted. Now you have to actually service what's in that agreement. What are you promising them when you get them to sign a buyer rep agreement? What are you promising them when you get them to sign a listing agreement? And then of course, the most important part of the transaction that we all love is when we get paid, is the close of the transaction. You actually found them their dream home and the offer was submitted and everything came together and everybody gets paid. And then the last part where everybody loves to forget about, which is why Frank started a company called Viral Marketing, is the referral, right? You just spent all this time getting someone to know, like, and trust you and enjoy your experience and your brand and be part of your tribe. You can't, you, you don't want to let go of them forever. So. Let me give you a, a, another rundown of how this looks like in the world that I'm very, very familiar with, which is the online leads. So if we look at attracting traffic, what are the many different sources that we have to attract traffic? We've got Google AdWords, we've got Facebook, we've got the aggregator websites, Craigslist. So those companies we invest in to drive traffic to our website. And then that's where our really good friends at Boomtown do a great job of actually providing a really good website that people get, see a lot of value in. And then when Boomtown asks for them to go ahead and offer up their registration information to continue to have access to it, now you've captured that information. So now you've got their name, phone number, and their email address. At that point, you need to obviously scrub all these leads. You need to figure out who in the heck is actually motivated and serious and who is just kicking tires or spying on their neighbor. That's what we do at Rockerbox. And again, once we've gotten on the phone with someone, we've identified that they're serious and motivated and they actually want to talk to a realtor and they actually want to transact real estate in the next 90 days. At that point, we're handing it over to the agent. But again, there's so many different steps and so many different variables involved in that agent experience that that's why we like to lean on our friends at ERS to provide coaching for people to learn how to schedule appointments, uh, do a buyer presentation, have people sign a buyer rep agreement, uh, implement a, a showing assistant model, right? These are all the things, the agent activities that can affect your, your end bottom line. And then obviously, Dot Loop is a wonderful uh, organization that helps us streamline your contract close process. And then again, our good friends of Viral Marketing will help you stay in touch with those leads once they do convert to a client long term. So I want to kind of run some numbers through you here really quick, because again, we've been doing this for about five years. We've been working with hundreds of real estate clients and we've got tons and tons of data to work with. But these are generally the averages. This is what it actually takes for someone to transact when it, in the internet lead world. So what we know with all the information is that about a thousand lead uh, visitors will visit your website from any of your, any of your queues, whether it be Google or Craigslist or Facebook, whatever. Thousand visitors land on your website and as soon as your CRM prompts them to create a registration, 900 of them just peace out. They say, nope, not getting information from me today. So those 1,000 visitors become about 100 registrations. You can all look at your visit to lead opt-in ratios, but that's roughly the national average. About 1,000 people visit your website to turn into 100 registrations. Now, what we know at Rockerbox, we call people right away. We're open 80 hours a week. We call them a whole bunch of times. We scrub the leads. We stay in touch with them long term. But essentially, we, we track and report back to our client each month is, hey, you gave us the 100. And on average, we give back to our clients 15. So about 15% conversion, 10 to 15%, depending on what part of the market you're in. Uh, some areas it's even higher, but let's just use conservative numbers here. So about 15 people will turn into an opportunity. That's the language that we use at Rockerbox. And so this is a hot and ready a buyer or seller. They want to speak to an agent. They're not contractually obligated. They probably want to even talk to your lender as well. So of those 15, we know that we throw it out into the, the random world of real estate variables, right? We all know that all agents are not created equal. 
So we don't really know what happens at that point. Do you schedule an appointment? Do you have them to come in the office? Do you just show up and show them property and open the door and, to, and turn yourself into an Uber driver? Like what does the process look like at that point? But what we can tell you is whatever happens with the conversion and whatever happens with the servicing is that at the end of the day in dot loop, we've got about one to three closed deals. So it's literally a thousand people, a thousand human beings came to your website. You asked for their registration information, 900 said no. Now we had a hundred. We scrubbed them, we handed over 15, and then through your processes of, again, selling your services, demonstrating to someone why they should work with you and not the other thousands of realtors in your MLS, all through all those processes, we know that it's gonna typically wind up in about one to three closed deals. And then on the back end, of course, if you follow your viral marketing strategy and you put them in your database and stay in touch with them long-term, you know that you can expect to get about 10% of that transaction uh, each year as a referral or repeat business.